Almost persuaded now to believe, almost persuaded Christ to believe. Seems now some soul to say, Go, spirit, go thy way. Some more convenient they on thee I will call. Almost persuaded, come, come to thee. Almost persuaded, turn not away. Yeshua invites you here. Angels are lingering near. Prayers rise from hearts so dear. O oh, wanderer, come, wander no more. Almost persuaded, harvest is past. Almost persuaded, doom, doom comes at last. Almost cannot avail. Almost is but to fail. Sad, sad, that bitter wail. That bitter wail. Almost but lost. Today I may go round and round, and at times I wonder ever to turn back. But to the greatest Yah I come, to know how to crave after righteous work. Not what seems good to my eyes, amongst the people that are in chaos far. No other choice However more convenient seems, only that which is straight and right before his eyes, before his only righteous eyes. Therefore I go, and I bestow so much overwhelming gifts, and portion to be a light whether he will send me to shine. To shine for a Thou art but a man, to thee tis known. Why dost thou then endeavor to do what God should do alone? Or can accomplish ever a thousand griefs thou goest through? In spite of all thy wit can do, Wilt thou do what is for thy good, And what Elohai good doth see? Then cast on him each heavy load, For from earth and heaven flee Thy life and labor, all that's done, With a joy into Elohai's, into Yah's hand resign. O oh, happy head he'll ever give thee and deliver, who cared for the air light of day, had dawn upon thy vision, while in the womb thy soul still lay. As in a gloomy prison, who thought upon thy welfare then? What good did all the might of men do? Then to thee were given life, might, and power from a heaven. Whose skill was it that fashioned thee, and who thy frame upreared? To clad our eyes by whose decree Say hath the light appeared Who hath thy veins in order laid For each a course convenient may Who hath thy frame replenished With members fair and finished Where were thy mind and will and heart when land and ocean over appear, Cain, even earth's remotest part, The sky was spread to cover, Who made the sun and moon to shine, Who gave herbs, trees, and beasts as thine, Who bid them satisfy thee, 
and no desire deny thee. Lift up thine head, see everywhere, above, around, below thee. How yach in all for thee his care, and at all times doth show thee. Thy meat and drink, the clothes thou dost wear, did yach wear neat thou feltest prepare. Yach, ere thou wast prepared for thee, thy mother's milk that reared thee, the raiment that in infancy thy nakedness did cover thee. The cradle that receiveth thee, the roof thy young head o'er, were all in love prepared for thee. Ere yet thine eye was open to see the wonders that abounded, the world of thee surrounded, yet wilt thou walk by thine own light, thy life long only heeding. Believing nothing but thy sight, go where the wet is leading, in all that thou dost undertake, thy heart thy counsellor dost make. Unless by it selected is every plan rejected. Rehe, how oft and openly Yah's providence undoeth. The plans thy hand so ardently and hopefully pursue, but it doth happen frequently that even the very things this we see, the wisest man could never predict or ever think. Then peace be still, my troubled breast, and let no grief distress thee. God ever plans for thee the best, his heart is set to bless thee. Thy cause the Saviour never can leave, in this assuredly believe, toward us he ever yearneth, his ardent love I burneth. With grace and truth, his loving heart forever is glowing, and Achilles feeleth he the smart when from our eyes are flowing. Hot tears caused by vain sorrow load, as if in wrath and hate our Yah could ever helpless leave us though would never comfort give us. Then to thy father's arms of love, in confidence be take thee, pray until his compassion move, his special care he make thee. Then by his spirit will he guide, through unknown paths still at thy side. From all thy woe and striving, at last deliverance give thee.